session. I was just uh, trying to get my presentation right and I'll be with you in a short while. But you're very welcome as I just organized myself shortly. And I just wanna say that uh, we are gonna have a, a great evening. And if you're a guest on the call, uh, wow. Andrew, maybe you can stop the recording a bit. I'm not getting something, just a minute. Could you just stop briefly then get recording? Thank you. So uh, welcome our guests and our distributors. My name is Lavu, and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. And before I had young children, and one day I came home, and our son who was then three years old said, "Mommy, these days does not come home." That was real a concern for me, and it was true. I was actually not coming home. In the sense that I'll come back when he's asleep, and I'll when it's asleep. I was in the bank at a time of transition. So the earliest I got home was midnight. And so I'll come in as a sleep and I'll go home early, like at five o'clock. So I'll find him asleep. And then secondly, my job at the bank, uh, they decided to retrench people because they were moving from manual records to computer. And so we didn't need so many staff, they retrenched people, they offered people early retirement. So for myself, I found myself with a job of five people. And so the earliest I got home was midnight. They made it very comfortable, gave me dinner, uh, gave me a taxi to take me home and paid me more overtime than my salary. So that was a really hard decision to make. But two years after that son said that I don't come home, after getting a second child, I decided I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And I decided that because some of the challenges I got in the bank that I was chronically fatigued, I just didn't have time for my children. My medical cover got over by June, which meant that the, the rest of the year I had to depend on my husband's cover. And I just was not myself. And I remember that uh, I was stressed. Let me say I was stressed. And though they gave me money, it did not make me happy because I preferred to have time with my kids. And then secondly, I also come from a very mixed background. Uh, my father is Kenyan. My mother is a Malawian. And I'm married to Charles who's from the Western part of Kenya. And I just saw my in-laws hearing my son saying that I don't come home. would we'll just think I'm as mixed up in my background as I am. Uh, I, I, I'm in my life as I am in my background. And with those two reasons, after getting a second child, I decided that I'm gonna leave the bank. And I'd also grown up with a mom at home, so I knew there is no day I'm gonna be an ex-parent. I knew I could put my career on hold, but I would not put my children on hold and say, I'm gonna bring you next year or the other year. And with those two reasons, I, I got home. One year after leaving the bank, uh, I, that's when I was introduced to this history. And so I was used to having my own money, when I was at home, there are some decisions I could make, some financial decisions, because now it depended on whether he had money or not. I remember that sometimes maybe I wanted a certain meal and maybe we could not have it then. Our son was already going to school. I've got this child who's about a year and a half then by the time I got the business. And so I must say for me, it was a difficult time. The other thing I remember is that I like had all the time and I'm just there at home. And so for me, this opportunity came when I was at home and I was looking for something to do. And when I was invited, unlike you, is on an online call, I went for a physical meeting. And when I went for the physical meeting, first of all, I was not convinced that I should do business. I'd never done business in my life. I'd never sold a pen. So when my neighbor, who I'd worked with, she had reached retirement age, and she invited me and said, there's a business in town. You can work from home. You'll get mentorship. You can travel out of the country. And you see to me that was a lie because in my days in the bank if you ever came with foreign currency first of all there was a department for foreign currency you had to declare at the airport you couldn't even get in with it and border will lead pass through so i'm thinking for international business Even to give me a ride into town, we went for the meeting. Into that, some two very prominent women, and I knew them from the television because in that, I saw that, and the other one was for one of our governors' 
who is in Meru called uh, Keraito. And so for me, when I saw these two women, I told myself, even if this thing does not, even if I don't understand, then there's money here. Because you know, we've got this perception and believe that if you go out of the country, especially to the European or the America, you don't come back because it's like Africa has got so many challenges. So I was, at that time, my mindset was then. And so I listened to the presentation. I did not even understand, but I remember the testimonies are what got me. And you know what? I just decided to start. I remember I started on the 15th of May, 1997. So I have actually done 25 years in the business that's a quarter century. And I can tell you that my life is not the same. That boy, when I left the bank, was five years returns, 13 in about October. And I don't have the second bone. Maybe as we go along, I'll be able to explain that. But I've got the third bone who turned 20. So my two kids, uh, they are different in years, is, is, is 10 years. And sometimes I tell people, you know, we are Kenyans, we long and see everything. So at this point, allow me to share my screen and then we'll be able to move on from there. And so it's been an exciting time for me. It's been nice. And I must say, I don't know. I actually do not know. Oh, oh my screen has disappeared. Oof. I tell you sometimes this. Okay, let me try and share. You can press the back button. In. I don't know what could have happened to my share. Hmm. Sorry, it's just press technology. the back button. It's up in the corner. Press the right? back button, and I'm not seeing where it is. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -mm. It's still not giving me. Okay, I think I get it now. Am I the, uh -huh. I think I got it and then sorry, try stopping and sharing again. I think we're there, Andrew. Are we there? Yeah, I think we're there. Are you able to see it? Uh, not yet, Margaret. We see the screen, but we don't see it. Okay. Can you see it, it, Andrew? Yes, we can. So it has gone off again. Wow. Mm, are you able to see me? Yes, we're able to see you. Is I just the speed yes, it's coming. And, okay. And are you able to see the screen? Yes, yes, we are, ma'am. Andrew, can you see the screen? Yes, we, we can. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. Okay, you can see the screen now. Yes, okay. we can. Okay. Sorry, Margaret has gone off again. And I that up. Huh? Are you able to see? It has gone off again, Margaret. Oh, I don't know what could be happening to my screen. You had shared. Okay. Though. Are you? I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. it, has come. it was coming, then it went off again. It has won done what? So you just share again. Uh -huh. I think it has totally gone off. Let me just do something. One minute. Sorry for that. This is just technology things. And sometimes you don't know what is happening. Um, I don't know why I'm having a challenge. Wow, one of those things, let me see. Actually the presentation like went off, let me just get it again. And I just do hope that this time you'll be able to see it. Okay, are we good now? Uh, not yet.
Andrew, you're still not able to see it? Um, not yet. I don't know what is happening to my site. Um, just a minute. Okay, I think I'm gonna get it now. Are you able to see it now? Yes. Okay. Sorry for that. We are good now. Yes, Margaret, we are good. Oh, sorry, sorry guys, uh, one of those things. So our opportunity starts with dreams. And you know, when we were young, we used to say when I grow up, I remember for me, I, I remember that uh, I'd been brought up by a very good household. I was just remembering today from a certain Kenya, a part of Kenya we call the Boranas. And I used to find this house up so nice. So I used to think that when I grew up, I want to be a house help. But of course, with time when I decided now, when I would grow up, I actually wanted to be a doctor. And that will be a story as we go along of why eventually I didn't become a doctor. And I just want to say that we've got dreams. There are things that you knew as you were growing up. And most people have got dreams. And as we grow up, we've got things that we want. And this of the things you're thinking about. Maybe you want some extra. There is infl inflation. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in the world. Fuel prices have gone up. Food is going up. All sorts of things are happening. And so we really seriously need some extra income or additional income. And I think in the era of today, everybody knows that you actually need an extra coin. And even if you're in another job or a profession, an extra income really would do you good. And maybe you want to be your own boss. That was one of my dreams. You know, when I worked in the bank, I said when I was a child, my parents told me what to do. I went to a school, teachers told me, I go to a job and I've got a boss who's got to tell me what to do. And maybe if you go to the point I got and I said, you know what, I think where I am at with the development that I have, I think I want to be my own boss. I want myself to tell myself what I want to do, where I want to do it, with whom I want to do it. And I just have that option that I can be my own boss. Maybe you're thinking of good, wealth, good health and well-being. And I know like with the COVID season that we've had, we all know that health is your greatest wealth. In fact, there is no more debate. If you ever thought that being healthy is a choice, you now know that it is a must, that it is one of the things, it's actually the main thing that you need to have good health and also well-being. Maybe one more family time. Like I said, when I was in the bank, I actually didn't have time for my family. I didn't want to come home one day and find that my son is walking or some activities they're doing. And my house help is the one telling me that I don't even know it. You know, sometimes you get so busy that some people, like I remember in our country, Kenya, sometimes back, a father would disappear. And then when he appears, the child starts calling him, calling him uncle because it, she doesn't, he doesn't really know because you just don't seem to have the time. And then maybe you want to drive a good car. That's one of our colleagues in Tanzania. And she's got that beautiful car that, and it's parked outside a good dream house. You know, I, I, you just don't live in a house. You want to live in a house that depicts your value and the kind of person you are. And then, you know, I've told people there's a difference between a car and a machine. A car is the one that every neighbor knows when you wake up because you've got to wake, and, wake them up. It's making so much noise rattling. And if it's as cold as in Kenya sometimes, you know, they say that uh, it, 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 it is feeling cold. And there is no cold that machine is actually feeling. It's just that it is not a good car. So we are saying a machine is one that you know you put on and you know you can just drive off. It's just a matter of putting on the ignition and you drive off. So, so that's a machine. And then maybe you want to travel the world. You know, some people, the village they were born in, that's where they have everything. They only have, a, they only have an ID and our birth certificate. We are saying, you know what, these planes that go all over, you can actually go, go, you can actually stop seeing them in the history, in the books. You know, some of us geography is the closest or uh, that we saw ever anything to do with a plane. And we are saying, you don't have to sit in a book. You can actually get in and experience that. Maybe you also want to help others. There's some, and which, these are some of the dreams. And I know you have got dreams that you can add and today I want you to go and really think, don't sleep before you get, you get your dreams down, all your dreams to come true. And we say that most people have got dreams. Uh, they, they, they actually, most people buy at, die at 25 and get buried at 65. Because when you, you don't have dreams, you are actually like dead. And we are saying the company that giving us that opportunity or the vehicle we are going to use to achieve our dreams is a company known as Neolife. For me, Neolife is actually new life because it actually does give you new life. 
Neo Life is a company that was founded more than 60 years ago in 1958 in a small town in California, and it's more in more than 55 countries of the world. So it is actually an international business. So when you imagine 60 years, 60 years is not a, a, a fly by night thing. It's not a Mickey Mouse. It is something that is here to last. And we are saying for another even 60 years, we are still gonna be there. In Africa, it's in 15 countries. And so if you're in Africa or around the world, we are actually in every continent. And so you've got a chance to actually uh, grow an international business. And we are saying we are on a mission. We are on a mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And like I said, health is everything. And I'm gonna take us through some basics about health. And the thing that has helped us to be here these 60 years plus is our values or the foundation on which we stand. And I want to say that our first one is absolute integrity. We are saying what we say and what we do are one. Integrity, one, one. You don't say one thing and do another thing. Then people are number one. People are our biggest resource because without people, there is no way you're going. And then we've got products that work. Our products are so effective, work, you can actually return them. And I think in my years of 25 years in the business, I've never had to return a product. And then we've got an equal opportunity for all. We are saying, come as you are. We don't care your age, you're 18 and above, you've got an identity or a passport. And we are saying up to 80, 90 years, you just come as you are. We don't care whether you went to school or you didn't go to school. We don't care your color, your last name. You know, there are some jobs even which depend on your last name and the environment you find yourself in. We don't even care which race you are. We're just saying you're a human being, you're breathing and you've got a dream, we're gonna be able to work with you. Then we've got a long range vision. 60 years, we are here and another 60 years will be here. We are saying this is the kind of thing that can make you live a legacy. You know, there are some jobs we do the day we die, they die with us. But we are saying this is something that you can live and years on, people can actually talk about you that one day you started off something. For me, I always say, I look forward to when my great grandchildren will be on. And say, so, you know, our grandmother, our great grandmother started something that we are still benefiting from. So I really look forward to those. Those are our values. And so I want to talk to us about health and health is our greatest wealth. But to go through some dietary factors of why we are having the challenge that we are having today. We are saying 95% of what we eat lacks nutrients. I mean, we just eat to get full. Somebody has said we are on a, of a fed society, but undernourished. We just eat to get full. And then the other thing is the 75 consumed foods that are incorrect, fast foods, soft drinks. We know they're incorrect, but we still consume them. Now, what is the challenge? There's something called a health pyramid of how we are supposed to eat so that we are healthy. And right at the bottom here, we are saying you need to do some physical activity and weight management. For physical activity, we are saying you need to make some movement three times a week, 15, 20 minutes, do some exercise. And we say we have exercise if you sweat or have a change in heart rate. Weight management, we actually want you to get your BMI, that at your height, you should be a certain, high, a certain amount of kilos. And that's why when you go to a doctor, they always take your weight, but they never tell you what they're doing. Because weight, I can tell you, is a big challenge. And I know it because I was overweight sometime two years ago, and I found myself at 95 kilos. And I can tell you, it is a real challenge. Some of the things you don't sleep well, your self-esteem is low. When people look at you thinking they're looking at the budging part, clothes are expensive, you have to keep on changing, and you're not too healthy, you don't feel good about yourself. And then we are saying that 40% of your diet needs to be whole grains. Whole grains are unprocessed food, they're usually brown in color, and they don't taste very nice, but you fill up with very little amount. Then we are saying you need to also take a good, um, good amount of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables, we actually look at colors, six to nine different colors in a day, because fruits and vegetables are what will give us immunity. Then protein, especially we are saying reduce on the protein, especially red meat, because red meat does not do you very good. Then fats and sugar, the least. And why fats and sugar? Because all the way from the time you started eating whole grains, actually you're taking in some sugar. But you know that what we've turned this period of adapter. Challenge is that when we eat the wrong way, we lock something that we call cells. Our bed is made up of cells and there are trillions of them, 73 trillion cells. And so you're only as healthy as your cells. So when you eat the wrong way, you actually get an unhealthy cell that's on the left-hand left side. It locks the cell membrane, which is the outer part of the cell. Very little food goes in and very little waste goes out. And so you end up, you're very chronically fatigued. Some people don't go for a long call every day. You've got challenges on your skin and you're not just feeling good. You have basically no vitality. But if you eat the right way, the healthy way, the cell membrane is soft and permeable. It allows food in and waste out. 
And that can only be achieved if you eat whole grains that have got some oils we call lipids and sterols that allow the body to do that process. And so we are saying that if, because of not eating well, we then have to do something. And you see, we have to get a solution because as long as we keep doing what we've always done, we are going to get what we've always had. And what is our solution? We are saying we've got supplements. Supplements will bridge in the gap between what you're eating and what you are supposed to eat. So this our very exclusive product called TNN. TNN basically has got three oils, wheat, rice, and soya. And this product, when you take it by, by day three, I can tell you, you feel good. You're able to glow for, go for a long call very well. It makes food utilization more. In a particular product, I must Everything being it because you be quality, but because not eating all food getting the time you finish that kind of chain to mention the level of vitality, you are so vibrant. And you and I know that if you've got low energy levels, there's no dream you're gonna achieve. So this is one product that everybody on this call you need to be on if you really care about your health. And so we are saying that this food pyramid, we need to put in products that are going to help us to deal with it. For physical activity, we don't have anything we can do. Nobody can get exercise and you get fit. You just got to go to, to do some exercise. And we're not even saying going to the gym, take a walk. You can dance for the young people. They love dancing. You can actually walk up the flights. You can, you can, uh, you can uh, go to the gym, you can run. Weight management, we've got an excellent program. I call it the last weight loss program or weight management program you'll ever need. Works excellent. You eat five times a day and you manage your weight, whether you want to add or reduce. And it is an amazing, an amazing uh, product, a uh, program. Then for whole grains, we've got the tree and then. And then we've got carotenoid, that one that helps fruits and vegetables are for immunity boost. And those of us who've got children, if you remember, when your child gets to six months, because you're supposed to breastfeed up to six months, they need to develop their own immunity. And it's only fruits and vegetables that do it. And that's why mothers on the call, when the child gets to six months and you're winning them, they say give them a fruit and a vegetable because that's the only thing that can boost their immunity. This particular product, very exclusive, has got seven different types of fruits and vegetables. A 90 can container has got a hundred seven days. That is very, very high immunity. It helps with the heart function. It's an anti-aging. It reduces the cells aging process by 44%. I know that's good news for ladies because we want to look 16 for the rest of our lives. And so that amazing product. And I know before COVID, people used to ask, so when I take something that is an immunity booster, how do I feel? I think people know now how to feel. So I can say that this is one of the products you need. It also helps to, to prevent cataracts. And it is just an amazing product that you must have. It's like, it's the soldiers that stand outside your cell so that you don't get something that we call oxidation that damages the cell. So an amazing product. Then for protein, we've got uh, something we call a protein drink called New Life Shake. And the amazing thing about this shake is that it's got 22 amino acids. Amino acids help produce enzymes. Enzymes break down food. And that is what helps to turn food into energy. So when you've got allergies, you don't have the right combination of amino acids to produce the enzymes that break down the food. So this is a product that each of one needs. Excellent for lowering, lowering the BMI or the body mass index for weight management, cardio protection, brain function, reduces body fat, fat in their veins. So it is an excellent, excellent drink. And it's also a food. If somebody is too unwell and they can't eat, this is a complete meal. It's got 25 vitamins and minerals very, very high and good protein. And then for fats and sugars, we've got a wonderful product called Omega-3. And our Omega-3 is Salmon Oil Plus. It reduces inflammation of swelling or discomforts of pains and joints that are found in joints by 68% in eight weeks. That is really, really a very high percentage. And the other thing I remember, and I can tell you works very, very well. And then the helps with brain with concentrated heads. Actually, this is the product that's inflammation and it helps with joints. 
pains in the joints. And so this is another amazing product. So we are saying these three oils, three and carotenoid and omega, they are very key. And you guys know how oil is important. You know, when the oil is brought as a problem, you know, we are not able to move. When oil prices go up, everything goes up. So this, the same way we need oil in our cars, these three products are the oil that you must have. And then of course, when you take with the protein shake, you've got what we call our core nutrition, or I call it a, a get up and go program. So you find all your four products packed in this Pro Vitality. Pro Vitality will actually give you a lot of vitality, energy, good for the whole total body uh, functioning, and then our shake. So we are saying if you just want basic health, then these two products is what you start off with. We've got others, we've got others that boost immunity. And so we've got other products, vitamin C, zinc. And then we also don't leave the children behind. You know, one of the things about children that I must tell you is that the, th the thing you give children the first two years of their lives, actually we call it the first thousand days. First thousand days is your nine months pregnancy, year one and year two. What you give or don't give that child, I can tell you for a fact, it's gonna determine what kind of diseases they're gonna get. So you wanna make sure that your children are on the right nutrition. And I know that when I was in Uganda, we found some children who are not yet even 10 years with things like diabetes, which happens to be an autoimmune disease, probably from the parents or the food they gave the children when they were young. And so we are saying you just need to determine, you can actually determine your child's health for the rest of their lives by just giving them this pack. And we are about to go back to school in Kenya, people are on holiday. And this is the, this is the process. Uh, they're very sweet, they're in the form of sweets. And children actually think they're eating sweets. They also remove craving and give them excellent immunity. Because one of the things that happens, whenever children go back to school, the first week they're already out with a cold. But with these two products, Vita Squares, the Multivite, and Vita Guard, which is a very high quality uh, 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 immune booster, will help your child be able to. And then we also have got very powerful that uh, you can see that animals narrow into one because of time and the person invited you on the call could give you more details. These are like our very basic three products that you must have, Super 10 Care and LDC. Let me just say something about LDC because I love that product. It actually replaces seven other products in the house. It can give you up to 10 liters of ready to use soap depending on what you wanna do. You can clean your hands, you can shave, especially men with sensitive skin who shave and get, get, get bumps on their, on their chin. You can shampoo your hair, very good for people who get dandruff. You can use it to, to clean your toilet. You can use it for to clean fruits and vegetables. It helps to unblock the drainage. When you bath with it, especially in the bathtub, you do not slide and fall because people with bathtubs have to use a mat. That does not happen with this. And then it reduces on your costs and time. For oily dishes, you don't need to heat water. So no electricity bills. And then, of course, it makes work so much easier. So it is one product that when you replace seven products, you can save so much money. So these products will save you time, energy, and effort on jobs. I must tell you about this product that is called G1. Uh, there is no product like this in the world. It is used for both hand wash and machine. In the world, a hand wash product is hand wash and machine is machine. We are the only company, proudly to say so, that have got a product that does both. For hand wash, you can actually soak your clothes and rinse them in the morning and they're good and clean overnight for at least two hours. For the machine, it cleans the machine parts and the clothes so you need never have to have scam or residue because each time you open up the machine for service, you're actually making it weaker and weaker and it does not give you good value. I remember a client who I started selling off this soap and the machine had been done like, 15 year, uh, like five years and was parking. But after starting them on G1, the machine has actually done another 10 years so you can see how much that is. And this pack is amazing. You need a very small amount. Like in our house, I buy two packets in a year, two kilos, January to July, June to January to June, July to December, another two kilos. So you save a lot, lots of money. And the fact that they're environmental friendly, so you're not worried that you're polluting the environment. Amazing products. And I must tell women on the call or people on the call, if you've got weight, the biggest challenge is actually your laundry product. You must, first of all, change the laundry product, you even go to what you want to recommend for your weight, because this has got a lot to do with what we call hormonal imbalance. Then we've got a product that is called Super Grow. We call it a wonder drop. It helps you to maximize, maximize yield. You're able to earn good money, increase your farm produce by 167%, reduce water runoff, 
and it also makes the other agricultural inputs cheaper because you don't need as much and excellent excellent product for farming and i can tell you that when you use it much more then our skincare products you know the skin is the largest organ and most of us don't even care about it you know if you get a heart challenge you're very worried if you get a kidney issue you're very worried but some of us don't even care how our skin looks and let your skin tells a lot about you and it is the one that covers things on the inside not to get to the outside and the outside not to get in so our skincare products are age-defined skincare products they make you look younger for longer and they're for both men and women and they're not cosmetic because skin or skin you know it helps you to prevent against the environment because if john goes to the sun and joan they are going to both be hit by the sun so it doesn't depend on the color of your skin but on the type of your skin so they're skin tailored amazing wonderful products that are very effective and very very economical and they'll give you good results and then they're both they're, they're botanical meaning they are actually organic I think we're the only company with organic products in the world as far as officials are concerned. And I can tell you they compete very well internationally. They actually have the price of what you do travel, because I know you do buy products from out. And so we are saying that with all that background, with those products, we've got an excellent opportunity that will just give you some of these things. I won't go through all of them because we started in, uh, we got some challenges at the beginning. And And travel the world. You know, some people have thought that you want you can enjoy the freedom of being your own boss. You can get what we call personal development and growth. You know, sometimes when I do presentations, people think I was born talking. No, it is not true. I was born just like any other child. But the personal development program in this training of Neo Life is amazing. You just be on another level. I say it makes an ordinary person very, very extraordinary. And I can tell you for a fact, it has happened to me. And I know a number of us on the call, we were not talking like this when we got into this business. And so it is amazing. The way you express yourself, the words you use, your confidence level. I mean, the way you're able to meet people, it is amazing. So it is like no other. Then long, long life our relationships. I had a chance to spend a week in Uganda with Andrew Bugembe and Miriam and Sam Kenakuli and their daughters. And I'm telling you, I had such a wonderful time one of the things that shocked me about that trip, I've traveled quite a bit. I've got a brother who lives in South Africa. And when I go to South Africa, I feel like a stranger. In Uganda, I could actually live there. I didn't even realize I'm not in Kenya. It was amazing. And I just had such a wonderful, wonderful time. And I must say thank you, Miriam and Sam and Andrew for just having me in Uganda. I don't know where I would have found you guys if it wasn't for this business. if I was in the bank. So I've got under. Then you can get out of debt. You can become good. Debts are one of the things that keep you locked up and you're never able to think. Then of course you can get healthy and learn and be able to help other people. So those are some of the things that just happened through this opportunity. So how does it work? We say for this opportunity to work for you, there are three daily success habits, which means there are also bad habits. So our daily success habit is use the products. That those products, you need to use them and have your own personal story or testimony. You see, it is so much easier to pass information from a personal level, from a personal experience than hearing it or reading about it. So when you use these products, you get stories and those stories or testimonies is what we're asking you to share with your friends, with your relatives, people you have around your circle and you're able to give them an opportunity. And then of course, involve yourself in personal development, which you can access in person or online. So let us look at it. Those products, we showed you the nutritional ones, home care, and then there were a walking testimony. We are saying become the product of the product because you'll not be selling our products and you've got weight and you're saying you've got a weight loss, pro a weight management program. So when you use it, you're actually the story. And so we are saying that when you talk about them, when you use like that pro vitality pack, I can tell you your energy levels are on another level. And so you can build what we call a retail customer base, which means you can introduce it to your friends. And if you just introduce it to six friends by sharing your story, we are saying that actually you can make an income and you can make $50. And I know $50 doesn't sound a lot, but I don't know where you can pick $50 today and not do something. $50 can help you with airtime. It could help you with a few things in the house. Uh, in Kenya, shillings, this is about 5,000. In Kenya, it could pay a bill of water. It could put, give you electricity for a month. It could actually fuel your car for maybe two, three days. That is not little money. 
And then we are just saying, you don't stop there. We are saying build a team. You see, if you want to do big things, you don't work alone. We say, if you want to go far, walk with, go, go. if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with people. So we are saying we are going find this business, build a team around you to duplicate you. That means to increase your time and effort so that you can be able to be free from wherever you are. And we're just saying, suppose you introduce three people, you're not limited to how many people. We are share, saying share the opportunity, show them how they can make a part-time income like you. Show them how they can make those $50 like you. You'll move to a level where your income and commission is about between $100 and $250. And that is good money. For me, I remember when I got to this level, it was interesting because $250 is what I was earning in the bank, working for from eight, from eight o'clock to midnight. And yet this business, which you can do actually part-time, you are actually able to make some of this money. And I know there are Kenyans who have actually resigned jobs when they go to this level, because what they were earning was just absolutely nothing compared to what they can do here. And our money gets paid by the 10th by electronic funds transfer. So we've already earned our money. And I can tell you, it's amazing. We get money when everybody else is broke and it is really, really nice. And then we are saying that you put yourself on a personal development program, We've got weekly trainings, mentorships that are, can be done in person or online, conventions, like if you're on this call, you cannot afford to miss 27th of August in Dar es Salaam. We're going to have an East African convention, and I can tell you it will have lots of fun, and it will be amazing, and lots of recognition. And if you only have an ID and a passport, it is your chance to travel, to start traveling. And then we've got leadership school. In this business, if you want to go far, become a leader, first to lead yourself and then to be able to lead others. So we've got leadership school that takes place in Kenya. I remember us going to Windsor Golf and Country Club, the best East and Central Africa golf club ever. You play games, you are able to, to just experience what being rich is all about. And so we are saying that you can go to a level of director and as a director, you make $500. And I can tell you $500 will make all the difference. And especially if you already have another job, this is the kind of money by the end of the year, you can start achieving some of your dreams. If you wanted to travel, you could start thinking now you can actually put a holiday together. If you wanted a nice car, you can actually think you can do that. If you just wanted to change clothes, I know women will love to change clothes. Uh, you know, men don't understand the cupboard is full, but you're saying I don't have an outfit because we are very special. We want an outfit for every occasion. So I can tell you for sure that this is good money. And we say for us, life begins at director because suddenly you realize it is possible. And there's an even stop there. You can become a world team by helping one or more people become world, become directors. And your income is between $1,000 and $2,000. For me, I remember that uh, when we started off, the income looked very little because I earned less than $2. But for me, the joy was that I'd never done business. So it just made me feel that I can actually make it. And I can tell you two years down the, three years down the line, when we got to world team, my life was totally different. And that is the day I decided I will never work for anybody. Imagine earning $2,000, you're in the house, you determine your hours, you bring up your children, you cook what you want, a healthier family. You spend time with friends that you do business. Oh, it is amazing. I can tell you it is fun and life is just worth it. It doesn't even stop there. You can move to a level we call a president's team member where your minimum income is actually $3,000. So, and you know, we are saying, we're used to having one president in each region or a country. Like Kenya, we are going into elections in August. We'll only have one president. But you know, in your life, the top is flat. As many as of you want to be, welcome. You can be as many presidents as possible. So those of us who have been looking for titles and want to be presidents, we've got a chance here. You just help other people, empower them, and you can become a president. And these are some of the places that the company has managed to take people around the world. Uh, 2008 London, uh, these are some of the places that people have been to. And for me, I just remember the London trip was so exciting. Uh, man, London was neat, very organized. I remember the time we went to London, we had a population in Kenya of seven, of three million. And London at that time in 2008 had, had seven million double. But the confusion I was seeing in this Nairobi city, I didn't see it in London. London is very organized. Things are neat and clean. Everything is written down. And for once I understood why you need to be literate. Because if in London you're not literate, nobody's going to help you. They're going to pass you like you're just a signpost. And so London with the underground, uh, underground trains passing through the St. Thomas River, I never forget a six kilometer journey that was in between a river. You can hear some whispering waves as you pass through. And for me, that was really something. 
And I can tell you that we can talk and talk about the travel, but you know what? I wanna stop the screen sharing here because I wanna invite a friend of mine. So these are some of the things. So there is mad, there's health first, then you've got wealth, then you've got this lifestyle because after you're healthy and you've got money, the next thing you need to do is travel the world. And these travels are not for other people. They are actually for you. I want to stop the screen sharing at this point. And I want to invite a friend of mine, a friend of mine who have done business for a while. Uh, I found him in the business. He started a year before me and he's younger than me. And he used to inspire me so much. I never forget when he did a presentation and it made me feel, you know what, you can actually do it. And he's been an inspiration to me and many other people. He's built a big international business. He is very, very committed. One of the guys I can say for sure are going to build this business until they go to the six feet under is this guy. He's got energy. He keeps time. I mean, and he dress up to the part of what he's talking about. And he's earned good money. So if you're young and you're thinking that you can't do it, I want you to listen to this guy. And I must say, you're very, very privileged to be here this evening, to be listening to him. Fred Gishoke, if you can hear me. Fred Gishoke. Fred. Yes, great leader. I can yeah, hear you. I Fred Gishoke, you. welcome. I share your story. I know you've got a great story and I know you're very inspirational. And I just know that guys on this call will never ever be the same after today. Welcome, Fred. Thank you, thank you. So uh, good evening, everybody. Um, it's great to share with you again, to be here, to talk to you, to just give you a little bit of my story, uh, of my journey, really, uh, how I started and where I've reached. Uh, thank you so much, Maggie, for this invitation. I'm always excited to talk to the Ugandan team, especially we've had a long history of doing business together. And I had you talking about the trip to Uganda. I also had a chance some time back of visiting the Kanakulias. And uh, it was an awesome, awesome experience. And uh, I, I am truly grateful for that. Now, uh, my name is Fred Gishuki. Joined this business in 1996. Uh, by then, I was a young man. Um, I was broke. Um, I was actually in this situation whereby I, I, I was looking for money. I'd gone to school. My dad told me, go to school, get good grades. You'll get a very good job and you'll retire very young and very rich. Uh, and that's the story we get from our parents. And um, I was a very good student, studied very hard. I was always top in my class. I was a class representative or a prefect in any class that I went. And a, a truly loyal student. And um, I graduated, I went to the Polytechnic, did a national diploma in management and graduated at that. And I expected to become um, a hotel manager. Now, uh, when we finished college, I quickly found that the papers that you have, especially in Kenya, I don't know about Uganda, but in Kenya, the papers you have don't really matter so much as the person that your parents knows. If your parents know very big people in government, then you get a very good job and your life is good. Because many of the friends that I had, especially the guys in class who are not serious, got very nice jobs. They became managers, they were given company cars, and I would meet them in town driving around and feeling good. And I kept saying, my job is coming, my job is coming, my job is coming, but it never came. Almost a year down the line, I felt that now I was vegetating. Somebody told me, Fred, just pick a job, whichever comes and, and start on that. When you do that, other things are going to follow. So uh, somebody introduced me and told me, Fred, there's an opening somewhere where you can become a chef. So I quickly quickly uh, went to this place and um, got myself a job as a chef. My salary was only 4,000 shillings. That's like $40 a month, which was very little. Uh, but I said, oh, what the heck, let me just do it. Um, I kept changing jobs. I kept changing jobs. Finally, I landed on this job where I was a receptionist uh, earning $100 a month. And that's where I met my angel. My angel is a pastor, a gentleman called Hansi Cronje, whom I treasure very much. He found me working at the reception of a guest house. It was a Christian guest house. 
And uh, he asked me a question, Fred, would you like to make some money on a part-time basis? I know you are here and you are a guest, for the guests especially, somebody asked you a similar question. For me, I said, yes, 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 uh, because I had been trying to look for other ways of making money. You see, when the salary doesn't give you enough money, what do you do? You start looking for side hustles. So I had started doing small, small businesses. I would sell second art clothing. Uh, we call them mitumbas here. Uh, on my part-time, I would bring cabbages to Nairobi. I was selling insurance. I was doing so many things, selling curios, just trying to make ends meet. And uh, when this guy came and told me there's something you can do part-time, well, for me, I jumped in immediately. I didn't wait to think about it, pray about it, consult and all these things uh, because I, I wanted to change my life. I was desperate to change my life. And when I got into new life, um, of course, the, the pool was um, money, money and money. Though I was told about lifestyle and travel and all that, but that was too far for me because when you're earning $100 a month and somebody is telling you that one day you'll get into a plane, it sounds too far away. It sounds like it's not real. So me, I said, if I can only make an extra $100, that's $200, I'm good to go. So I got in and uh, I started doing the business. Initially, I thought everybody would be so excited about my joining your life. I thought they would embrace me and tell me I've done the right thing. Now my life will change. But amazingly, most of the people around me, especially my relatives, um, they were not for the idea. In fact, many of them uh, actually told me, Fred, you're not going to succeed in this thing. You will not make it. You will, you will fail in this thing. Um, even my own parents, my own brothers and sisters thought I was wasting money. And I share this because I know for the guests who are here, you'll go home and you'll share with your spouse, you share with your brother, and they'll probably tell you the same thing that you cannot make it, this thing won't work for you. And they're usually trying to protect you, quote unquote. But in reality, they, they usually take away your dream and your, and your, and your ambition. And you know, most, um, most relatives and most close friends are usually quite intimidated when they see like your life is taking a trajectory that they cannot understand. And they fear that if you go and succeed in that venture, they are going to look bad because you'll be doing better than them. So in the pretext of telling you that uh, this thing can't work for you, in reality, they're just scared that you might succeed and you leave them where they are. So luckily for me, I never listened to these people who are discouraging me. I decided to do it with or without them. I said, let me try it out. If it doesn't work, then at least I will know something that does not work. So I started doing the business, um, started making some profits uh, on a daily basis, which was quite good. Um, became a manager, went on to become a senior manager. And in seven months, I became a director. Now, as a director, my life changed because my salary was $100. But as a director in your life, I, I was being given a check of over 30000 30, which is about $300. This was about three times my pay. And let me tell you, I was given the badge director. And that badge really, really excited me because um, I would wear it with pride. Um, on my lapel, anywhere I went, I would wear that badge and make sure that everybody saw that I was a director. And given that my place of work, I didn't really have a job title because I was a, I mean, I was a receptionist and I could be called to do any kind of job. But in your life, I was a director. And as a director, I was taken to some very posh places, Windsor Golf and Country Club, like Regency, uh, New Stanley Hotel, where the rich and famous uh, usually are. And I started associating with the right kind of people, not people who are complaining, but people who are making things happen, people who are movers and shakers. I went on building the business and um, 
I remember when I bought my first car, it was not an expensive car. It costed me about $3,000. But to me, that was a lot of money because you can imagine somebody was earning $100 a month um, buying a car worth $3,000. That was a lot of money. And I was still young in my 20s and I was driving my first car. Man, my life started changing in a big, big way. I remember parking the car next to where the boss used to park his car and uh, walking down with a briefcase and a suit and all that. And we would walk down with him. And it was quite interesting. Um, even my bosses started looking and treating me differently. And I was still a receptionist. Now, the funny thing that happened is that an opening arose for a manager. They wanted a front office manager. And I applied. And many people told me, no, you cannot make it. You, um, you, I mean, they don't employ people from within. They usually look for people from outside. And this time they had even uh, requested for applications from uh, outside the establishment. So I applied. And believe it or not, I actually got the job. I was promoted. I became a manager. And the GM actually was the main person who really pushed it through because he really wanted me to become a manager. And I found that to be so strange. Now that I was making money, I was driving my own car and would talk to him. We would have conversations. He now felt that this guy is now ready to become a manager. So what my papers could not give me, New Life gave me. I became a manager at my place of work, not because of my papers only, but because of the leadership that I had gotten from New Life. So if you're here, and uh, Maggie talked about personal growth and development. If you want to grow as a person, let me tell you, New Life is the best place for you to grow in terms of personal growth and development. You will become a leader, you will become a public speaker, You'll, be, you'll change in so many ways that people are going to look at you and see this is a leader. And wherever you go, you'll get leadership positions because they can see the growth and the transformation that has happened to you. Now, um, a few years down the line, I became a world team member. World team member meant that I was now earning in excess of $1,000 from Neolife, which was quite exciting. My boss uh, had promoted me and given me three times my pay. So I was earning about $300 with my boss, but I was earning more than four times that figure with Neolife. And I, I remember getting my first trip abroad. We got into a plane and four and a half hours later, we were in Joburg, South Africa. Again, fully paid for by Neolife. And it was amazing. I remember we went with uh, Anyang Nyong and Kiraitu Murungi who happen to be members of New Life. And um, they've actually been um, doing this business. I found them in the business. And to date, they still do this business. And that to me was amazing. That to me was amazing because you can imagine a young man who is a receptionist, uh, come waiter, come cook. Uh, having a one-on-one -on -one and chatting with uh, the likes of Anyang Nyong, the likes of Kiraitu Murungi, and these are governors and very senior people in the Kenyan government. And what amazed me about them is that in spite of their position in society, they are still doing neo life. To date, they are still doing neo life. And you find that there are many people who maybe is a, just a degree holder or just started life and uh, they only have one income. And they're saying, I'm too busy for new life. Yet these guys are governors, they're earning a salary, they have uh, low farms, they have hotels, they have so many things, they have real estate, yet they are doing new life. That told me one thing, that in new life, there is money and there is serious money. And if you're looking for money, if you're looking for something that can give you some serious residual income, then you're at the right place with the right uh, team of people. Now, um, I've gotten so many benefits other than the travel because I've been able to travel to so many countries. I've been abroad more than 20 times. I've been to America, to Mexico, Mauritius, uh, UK. I've been to um, Nigeria severally. I've been to so many countries, Hong Kong, China, just to name a few. But other than that, I've, 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 I've been able to make quite, quite some serious money from your life. My first check was $3, actually, from Neolife. 
But the highest check I've gotten from your life is a check I was paid for $13,000. That was a fortune for me, uh, considering my background and considering where I'd come from, yeah? Um, other than that, um, I've been able to buy so many properties. I'm a landlord courtesy of New Life. These are things that I would never have thought possible when I was earning $100 a month to own properties worth millions. I, I mean, that's, that's not something that was going to happen to me anytime soon, but New Life made it possible. Um, I've driven several cars. Um, I mean, you know, as a boy, you're always thinking about cars, 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 cars. And um, I bought my first car, bought se uh, several other cars with New Life. And that to me is very, very exciting. Now, today what excites me is that I'm able to empower other people who can also create their life story. You don't have to stick to the story that you have right now. Maybe you've had a tough background. Uh, maybe you haven't had the breaks, the lucky breaks, like your friends have had. You didn't get that plum job. Um, I'm here to tell you that it is possible with your life that you can get in, you can get started, you can attend our trainings and you can prosper beyond your wildest imaginations um, with Neo Life International. And it doesn't matter whether you have money, it doesn't matter whether you come from a royal family or just a family that is struggling, all those are irrelevant. What matters is, do you have a desire? Do you have a burning desire to change your life? Are you willing to work? Are you willing to be teachable? If you're willing to do that, then I can guarantee you success in your life because I was trained I didn't know much about the products. I didn't know much about anything, even about business. I had made so many mistakes in business, lost a lot of money. But in your life, I was trained and I became successful. So if I was able to do it, I know you can do it much, much better. Now, the future looks so bright. Let me tell you, in your life, we are just starting. This is just the beginning. Next year, we are going to a place called Turkey. And I tell you, it's a fantastic, fantastic destination. And the good thing is that you can join today as a distributor and work very hard. And next year, you'll be with us in the plane going to Turkey. And that's a beauty about Neo Life because we give you a, a equal opportunity uh, for, it's an equal opportunity for all. You can actually achieve uh, faster than we have achieved. You can grow bigger than we have grown and we'll be cheering you all along and very excited about your success. So for the guests who are on the call, welcome to Neo Life. Uh, join this great team. Let us work together to change people's lives. For the distributors on the call, keep on keeping on. Never look back. Uh, don't, don't give up easy. One thing that I learned early in Neo Life is that the people who succeed in, the, in your life are the people who stick in there the longest. No matter how many people you are sponsoring or how you're doing their business, if you stick there long enough, you will become radically successful and you'll one day give you a story and people will be amazed at the results that you have gotten from your life. But key thing is never ever quit. Keep on doing what you have to do and God will do the rest. Thank you so much. Um, back to you, Maggie. Uh, thank you so much, Fred, for that amazing story. It's always an inspiration. And just thank you for sharing with the team uh, how far you've come. And like I said, uh, when I listened to you, I just feel like if I was not yet a distributor, I would have actually started off. And just to conclude, I just want to tell you, you need three basic things. Number one, you need to, to have a dream or a vision. Why are you alive? Who will know you lived? You know, uh, there are people who have lived, and the only sign they lived is the tombstone that shows their name, their birth date, and the date they got over. I mean, born in 1967, maybe dash 2010, and we are saying that dash, you need to fill it with something. Who will remember you? Who will know you lived? They're saying, don't be a statistic. You know, when the seventh billion person was born, they said the seventh billion person was born. Would you rather say that the seventh billion person was born and there was Margaret? I mean, they even put a name. And like when I go to South Africa and I see Mandela statues all over, even small children know him as Madiba, they call him Madiba down South Africa. I mean, who will know you lived? Some of us, even your next door neighbor does not know because you have not made an, an impact. So we are saying you need to have a dream or a vision or why are you alive? 
Number two, you need a desire, a burning desire, disgust. You're fed up of your life. You're fed up of wearing the same clothes for ladies. You're fed up of eating the same food. You're fed up of having to live where you live, not because you, because you don't have a choice. You're basically fed up. You're fed up of walking when people are driving. You're just fed up. Disgust is a very good ingredient for success. And we're just saying you need to be burning. That the thing that will wake you up very early in the morning and keep you late at night. That's a burning desire. You're basically fed up. You really, really just want to transform your life. And then you need to have faith, to believe. I know we have no problem believing in God, but we've got such a challenge believing in ourselves. And you know what? I know we each believe. Some of us put on an alarm clock at night and you sleep and you're saying in the morning you wake up. Who told you you're going to wake up? You know, you go to a doctor you've never seen, writes a prescription in a language you don't even understand. You go to a pharmacist, you can't even read those drugs. They say take three times a day and you get better. So we are saying just that faith. You know, the word of God says, if you've got a, a faith as little as a mustard seed, come with it. And then finally, you need to take action. You need to decide. And you know, if you decide not to decide, you have decided. And if you don't make a decision, then you're gonna have to live on somebody else's decision. And I wanna tell you, this is a great opportunity. I don't know of anything better that I could have been doing. And the people on the call, I know those who've done business with me all these years, it's been an amazing journey and I would never ever wanna do something else. And I can tell you the future is very, very bright. And I'm saying, come with us, come and make an impact. Let's make the world a healthy and a happier place. And I'm just looking forward to seeing those of you who are going to team up with us in the beaches of the world as we travel and make friendships. And I can. Sorry, I think by, by whatever went off. So I'm saying for the guests, if this is your first time, count this to be the beginning of your, the rest of your life. And we're just looking forward to having you in the beaches of the world. So thank you very much and God bless you. Just to, uh, talk to the person who invited you on this call and they'll be able to help you out. Thank you very much and good evening.